Namaste guys, Ashish here from Namaste Tech and in this video we are taking a look at one button navigation on Moto G5 and G5 Plus. Now Moto G5 and G5 Plus come with a fingerprint sensor which is right here and it can be also used for navigation. When you start using it, you cannot use any of these virtual keys and you will have to depend on this but it works out at the end with some added functionality. Let's begin with it. On your home screen, you have a Modo app. Launch it and you have two options here. One is called as Actions and second is Display. Open Actions and you will get one button navigation right here. Tap on it, which is turned off by default. And as soon as you turn it on, these buttons will just vanish. So let's turn it on. There you go, the buttons, the virtual buttons are all gone. Now it gives you two options basically. The first is swipe left to go back. So you can use swipe left to go back or you can use swipe left for recent app. When you swipe right, you can either have recent app or you can use it to go back. Any of these settings can be used. So I'm gonna use swipe left to go back and swipe right for recent apps. Now, if you don't really know how to use it properly, Modo has got your tutorial ready. Let's go through it. Now to go home, you need to tap on the sensor quickly. So when I tap on this, it'll take me to the home screen. Right now, this is a tutorial. Go next. Now you can swipe left to go back. So this is how you do. You go back. Next, to open recent app, you can swipe right. So you do it and you will get recent app. I'll show you that in a bit. Touch and hold a sensor until you feel a short burst till you lift your finger. This is to lock. So if I tap on this and I get a buzz, it locks. I'll show you that too. Let's turn it on. This is done. Now, if I want to go back, I'll swipe left and it takes me here. If I want to see recent apps, I'm going to swipe right and it shows me recent apps. If I want to lock my phone, I'll hold it temporarily till I hear a buzz and it locks. Now, if I want to open Google now, you need to tap on this and keep it pressed. And it gives you Google now. Right now the phone is offline, that's why you see it like this. So that's basically how you do it. Now, if you want to have both on navigation button and the gestures, it doesn't work that way. So if you don't want to use it, all you would like to do is turn it off and it brings the virtual navigation back. I'll strongly suggest to actually use this because it's pretty easy and it actually gives you quick access to anything you want to do instead of finding out the buttons. So guys, thanks for watching this video. We are coming with a tips and tricks video. Do take a look at all the features of Moto G5 and G5 Plus. Do subscribe by hitting the button at the center. There are two videos at the end that you should have a look and stay tuned for more videos.